Hey everyone, John Brand here with Solutions 8, and today we're going to be uh, sharing with you a new type of ad. And I really think it actually is a new type of ad. It's it's unlike anything that you know is inside of Google Ads today. And it's a lead form that is kind of forced, and it's really cool actually. <clears throat> so we're all familiar with the search extension of the lead form extension. That lead form extension is simply a form that when you click on the lead form extension, not the main ad headline or, or structured, uh, sorry, or, or site links or anything, um, but when you click on the lead form, then it pops up a lead form and you can complete it. Now, the lead forms don't show as often, obviously, as just your ad will. It will show up anywhere between on the low end, like 10% of the time, and the high end, 70% of the time that we've seen. <clears throat> However, there's a new way that you can actually have only the lead ad form show up when anybody clicks on any part of your ad, whether it's a site link or it's the headline, when you click on that, it'll actually force just the, the lead uh, form to pop up. So here's what this looks like. <clears throat> you can see here, it says, make, make a search ad always open to a lead form. And it gives you this little gif here that when you click on it, you'll see that it actually shows that you click on an ad and then it sees a form, they submit the form, and then you have a continue searching on Google. So it says if your primary goal is to only collect leads, you can show a lead form every time someone selects the headline in your search ad. <clears throat> and what's pretty cool is if you are looking to just kind of gain leads and you're like, hey, anybody that ever clicks on that, show them the form. Now, it's it's cool, but the potential pitfalls is it's almost like an ad extension, uh, like a call extension. Sometimes not your best quality comes into that type of extension because they haven't had a chance to make it to your website. They don't know your unique value proposition, your unique selling proposition, your your pricing, um, whatever it may be. Uh, and this is specifically, obviously, for lead generation. This isn't really going to work on e-commerce unless you want to get a, a coupon code or something like that and then just spend a whole bunch of money on opt-ins. But that, that's, that's neither here nor there. But <clears throat> for lead gen, we know that call extensions are a lot of times people Google something. Google doesn't give you the best search term and they see a phone number like, yep, that's who I'm looking to call. <clears throat> and you get a lot of you know wrong numbers or irrelevant or low quality traffic. They're coming in at phone calls. <clears throat> I've seen the same thing with lead form extensions. A lot of times what you'll have is a person that will fill out a lead form and it's just kind of the, you know, starting the search or, you know, they may not have um, as high of a commercial intent to do business with you just yet. It will still generate leads. I believe it's going to be a less expensive cost per lead because potentially you're only paying the click and, and if the form shows up and you got, you know, 20% conversion rate, that could be really fantastic. It kind of takes all of the fo uh, the effort off of your website. It's really uh, similar to Facebook lead ads where, you know, if you click on the Facebook lead ad, that's all you get is just a lead ad. Now, again, we're all familiar with Facebook lead ads and now those are also lower quality. So <clears throat> I would say use this as a different uh, campaign with possibly different keywords. Maybe something that's a little bit more top of funnel, middle of the funnel. Maybe uh, uh, use it as a sort of an opt-in, like not necessarily a lead magnet, but like, hey, like a free evaluation or a free consultation or something like that that is maybe a little bit more, um, or sorry, a little bit less, um, how do I describe this, committed. So I'm going to try running this on a different campaign. I'm going to try to use some uh, different keywords in my main campaign to see how this is going to perform, and I'll get back to you with the results. But uh, I want to kind of share with you how to do it. So up at the top here, I'm going to go over to my campaign. This is a new campaign that I'm creating just now. Um, don't look at all my trade secrets. <laughs> uh, but what's what's cool is you'll see that in here is a lead form setting, and you can actually toggle. <coughs> excuse me, I'm sick. <coughs> my apologies. You can actually toggle the lead form setting to always show the lead form when someone interacts with my ad. And clicking the headline opens the lead form, so that it no longer goes to the website. So your website traffic essentially dies off. So it's a uh, it's a risk. I wouldn't mean it. I wouldn't really run it just as your main campaign, but pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, it's something that we'll test. We'll get back to you. But um, if you like this kind of quick tip and seeing how you can do a whole new type of ad in Google Ads, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, tell your grandma, all the good stuff. Thank you so much.